Blog Talk Radio. Hi, this is Tiffany, and I love AVA Live Radio. This is Brian J. Klein, and I love AVA Live hey, Music. Hey, this is Rob Hill from Canada, and I absolutely love AVA Live Radio. Hi, this Radio. is Tara Everly of Iridescence, and I love AVA Live Radio. Hey, guys, this is Jacqueline Jackson, and I love AVA Live Radio. This is Lainey Nash, and I love AVA Live this Radio. This is Chris Bishop, and I love AVA Live Hi, Radio. Hi, this is Naomi Thumb, and I love AVA Live Radio. Hi, we're Orange Avenue, and we love AVA. Live Radio. Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Behind the Music. This is your host, Jacqueline Jacks, coming to you live from our South Florida studio. On tonight's show, I have Fly Academic. If you haven't caught him on the Facebook page, be sure to go check out his pages. We have Daniel Messmer and Alan Vine talking about Metallica. And then we've got Paul Sheridan with some music and tunes from the UK coming on the show. I'm excited. I've got a lot of playlists to to play for you guys, a lot of new music, a lot of music that's been on the show that you might not have heard yet. And... uh, very, very exciting. Don't you just love these nights? I like them. I don't know what time it is in your in your place of uh, probably your home or work or wherever you're taking us to, but remember that you can always join us and take us with you on your morning drive. All you have to do to catch those episodes is go to the On Demand on the website, avaliveradio.com. On the right-hand side, there's a show player for you where you can hear the previous shows or you can download them to your device. You can also get them on iTunes. And be sure that if you do download them on iTunes, you go ahead and rate the episode for me while you're there and subscribe before you leave. AVALiveRadio.com is our home base, so you can pick up all the shows there and see the latest happenings and connect with all the artists, which I totally encourage you to do because these are some great people. As you know, we heavily filter our show and make sure that we bring on the best artists for you, the nicest, the sweetest, the most talented people of all time, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, we make sure that they're really part of a community and they want to like talk to you and interact. And it's really important out there today because you don't want to be on your own in this business, as you know. And it's something that it's a very powerful force these days to be on the internet and be doing music. So um, you definitely want a lot of people on your side, and that's what we're here to give you. Here's the first song. I'll be right back with Fly Academic. This is by him, yours truly. This is Keep Dreaming. Fly Academic.
compliment. I'm doing really well. <laughs> you're welcome. I love that song. It is so catchy and just, my God, your rhymes are so tight. I love it. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh, thank nice. you so much. I really appreciate that. I, you know, I'm really proud of that song, so it's, it's great to hear that kind of feedback, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally good. I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's, it's something that um, it's really special, and I think you did a great job on it. I, I really appreciate that. You know, I, I have to say that, um, you know, uh, I, I, you know, I've, I've been doing this for a, a little while, and I, I've put out a fair share of music. But for whatever reason, I mean, this is the one that that people seem to really uh, connect with. It really resonates with them, and uh, yeah, I mean, people people are just really, really digging that song, and it, it just uh, it means the world to me. You know, it's a song that I'm very proud of, and it means so much to me personally. Oh, that's awesome. Well, what made you write it? How'd you come up with the idea? Um, you know, I, I mean, it's it, it's somewhat um, autobiographical, I guess you could say. You mm-hmm. know, I mean, um, sort of to to the point I was making earlier. I've been doing this for a long time, um, but it's it's one of those situations where, you know, I'm I'm still very much uh, uh, an unknown underground artist. I still have a day job. You know, this whole thing never really took off in the way that maybe I had wanted it to, or this is not where I saw myself when I started yeah. doing this 10 years ago, um, which is fine. I, I, you know, I've made peace with that. It is what it is. But I think there are a lot of people who, uh, for whatever reason, yeah, I, you know, I, I don't want to get too heavy or, or, or too deep, but I feel like it's kind of a, a societal thing we, where we have where it's like dreams are for kids, you know, and like when you get old, when you, when you become an adult, it's like you're supposed to just kind of suck it up and go to work, and that's just how it's supposed to be. And, you know, sometimes when you, when I tell people, oh, you know, I'm still doing this music thing, and, and they say, oh, oh, really? Like, you're still doing that? And it's almost like that kind of condescending, patronizing, like, I can't believe you're still doing that, you know, because this, this is kind of like a childish, impossible dream. And I, yeah, I, I hear you. I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I, yeah, I, I, just, I just hate that attitude. I hate this idea that, like, becoming adult means you're not allowed to dream anymore. And I see a lot of people who have kind of, for one reason or another, you know, either given up on their dreams or, or they've walked away from it. And I don't know that to me, that's, that's 
that's that's kind of a sad thing. That's that's sort of a a heartbreaking moment in your life where you say, hey, you know, I'm just I don't I don't have those aspirations anymore. Uh, oh, because yeah. why not? You know, why not? Why not pursue what you're passionate about? Why? Why be afraid? Why let someone tell you how to live your life? And and so for me, it's just a way of saying, hey, I'm gonna put myself out there, and you know, so what if I'm, uh, you know, almost thirty and I, you know, and I'm still trying to be a underground alternative rapper or whatever. Maybe that sounds funny <laughs> to you, but for me, it's the most important thing in the world, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing it. And I hope that it inspires other people to maybe go after what they've always wanted to, you know. Yeah, it certainly does. And you know what? I think it's all in who you surround yourself with because, you know, here you're part of the AVA community, and I know for a fact from where I'm sitting, and the reason why we built this show is to gather a community around artists so that yeah. you, you you kind of don't feel that way. You don't feel like you should ever um, stop giving up on your dreams and so that you have resources. Like as things change and as things move along and, and technology grows, you want to make sure that, you have somebody on your side, like saying, "Hey, you know, just don't don't give up, stick with it. This is where you should be. This is where you sh- what you should be doing." You know, I know for one, just yes. to tell you that internet radio is, I mean, it is it has gone so far so fast in even the four years that we've been here. Like we were kind of in on the ground mm-hmm. floor with BTR, and they already had a lot of like hundreds and I mean, probably a few thousand radio shows. But just in the four yeah. years that we've progressed, we've been working behind the scenes to keep things really tight and to get us positioned in the market so that we can be a leader coming out of the box when things really happen. And if you notice now, they're just starting to get us into cars. People can you know, bring their phones and their systems right into the cars and get these shows into places. And, and actually, Internet radio reaches more people than local radio does. Absolutely, absolutely. You know? I really do feel like uh, traditional FM radio is kind of is becoming like a dinosaur, and oh, yeah. and they've done it and it, and they've done it to themselves because they only are are going to go where the money is and they're going to play the same five songs all day long and yeah. that's what they're choosing to do and they're alienating a lot of people. And you're right. I mean, you know, uh, congratulations by the way. You said you've been around for four years and you're healthy oh, and you're thank growing you. and that's, yeah. that's a wonderful thing. And and it's a, it's a beautiful thing. And you know, your your station AVA and there are so many other internet radio outlets that are popping up now and they're and they're giving opportunities to people yeah. like myself to you know mm-hmm. independent artists who don't have the the payola to to get the FM radio play but right. it's not yeah. a, about that you know it's like it, the underground really is sort of the place to be right now Absolutely. and yeah it's and, and you know it's, uh, I'm not surprised that internet radio is taking over because internet radio is truly giving the people what they want to hear not what they're being conditioned or what they're being told to yeah. want there's a big yeah. difference there you know no, what I mean? Absolutely. I, you know, it's funny because the next segment that we're going to have on, we're going to be talking about Metallica and their cult fan yeah. base. And although they're like, you know, their generation, like Led Zeppelin, but they uh, they still, they were such a driving force because of their fans. So where do you think you're going to get a cult fan base, but in an underground music arena? You know what I mean? Not yeah, not absolutely. Get I, 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 know, I, I, I've always been. I, I, I agree. You know, it's. I've always been of the opinion. I think now more so than ever that I would rather have, you know, a thousand passionate fans than you know ten thousand people who just listen to me in passing or just sort of casually enjoy my music because it's it's those passionate fans, those hardcore fans, um, who really, you know keep you afloat and keep you alive. And, um, you know, for someone, a, a group like Metallica, they've been around forever. You know, I, yeah. I don't mean that in a, a derogatory way. I mean, like, they're still around, and I'm sure they're going strong, and they have their passionate fans who have stuck it out with them for 30-something years. And right. that's incredible. Yeah. How many people can say that, that they've, they've been entertaining <laughs> their audience? And it's truly, I mean, you know, I, I've been uh, giving my fan base what they what they want for 30 years. That's a testament for thirty for years? Oh, I didn't know you were in this for thirty years. That's awesome. So no wonder your your sound is so honed because you've really got. Oh me? No, no, I'm talking about Metallica. No, I've only oh. been doing this for. Uh, no, I, I I mean thirty years ago, I think I, I was still in my in my mother's womb. I'm uh I'm, I'm 29 <laughs> now, and uh, yeah, no, I've I've been doing this for about ten years, and uh, I think like 
the most the most recent seven years, you know, I have been I've been pursuing it pretty seriously. So I still have uh, a ways to go before I catch up with Metallica. But uh, <laughs> hey, if, you, you know, if, if 20 years sure. from now I'm, I'm still doing my thing, then I, that, that'll be a blessing. Yes, you will be. Yes, you absolutely will be. You know, I think a lot of it has to depend on um, if you have time to work your fan base. Like you said, you're keeping up with it and, you, and you're doing it. There's a, yeah. there's like a level. There's like two levels. You know, well, there's the stop, but there's also the level where you're just keeping up, and then there's the level where you're really working it. And if if you have the time to put in that extra energy, you'll get huge results. That's what we've we've definitely proven that because, you know, it's, it's not easy to start an internet sure. radio show and, and it's definitely not easy to gather fans that are very dedicated to it or musicians that are up for the cause. So to get that message out with all of the other stuff streaming through the internet, it does take a little bit of work, but I definitely know that you can do it because it's not a music thing. You definitely have your music down. So that's yeah, really, well, really you. important. Thank that's you. easy. <laughs> The music is awesome. no, yeah, you're right though. I mean, making making the music making the music is the easy part. The the, the difficult part and the time consuming part, like you said, is sort of the uh, the hustle that you have to put in to to get your name out there because it is super competitive, mm-hmm. and there are thousands of people out there who are competing for the same spot that I'm competing for. So, you know, you're not going to, and this is uh, universal. I mean, you're not going to get there by being the most talented. You're not going to get there by being the best looking. I mean, those things help. You know, it certainly helps to know the right people. But at the end of the day, sure. none of that matters if you're not putting in the hours that you're supposed to be putting in, if you're not grinding as hard as you're supposed to be grinding. Um, because I'll tell you, I mean, even if you catch a lucky break, if you don't have the work ethic, you're not going to last. You're not going to so stay. True. Yeah, it's so yeah. true. From where we're sitting, I can tell you that um, there are artists that are right on top of everything. When we when we need something and we want to put together a show, we want to put together um, a project, they're right on it. And they, it, there's yeah. nothing that gets in the way. And then there are some that take weeks to do what some have done overnight. You know, so yeah, I feel right. and, and that's and that's a that's a distinction. There are people who who really take this seriously, and this is what the, what they're here to do. And you know, there are people who who talk a big game, but really it's just a hobby. And there is <laughs> a difference. There is a distinction. I mean, you know, in, in how you apply yourself, and and like you said. You know, I, I mean, I, I've run into that problem too, trying to collaborate with different people, or you know, producers, other artists, and yeah. some people I send them, I send them a track, and it comes back finished and mastered the next day. Other right. people I never hear from them again. I you know. know and, and <laughs> oh yeah. It, but it's true. but it's okay. I mean, everyone has has their way of going about things, and if you're not that serious about it, then that's fine. I'm not saying you have to be, but then don't present yourself like you are. Right. You know, because there, there are people, because you're, you're kind of just getting in the way at that point. I, I hate to be, you know, callous in that way, but, you know, if, if this is just a hobby and you're just doing this for fun, that's awesome. That's an incredible thing. But to then present yourself as, as like, I'm um, doing this professionally, it's like, well, you're, now, now you're sort of just throwing words around and you're kind of disrespecting the people who, who really are taking this seriously. Yeah, that's you know? just and make you bad. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, it's just it's, it's so competitive out there to begin with, and then you have people who are they may be talented, they they may not be. I mean, who knows? But you know, they're they're really just playing around and clowning around with it. But you know, they want to compete for the same attention and the same spot that, that you're competing for. And it's almost like you know, when you take your craft very seriously, um, or you know, I mean, you really pursue this professionally and you go about it the right way. You don't want to have people in your way who who are just messing around, mm-hmm. you know. Um, yeah. But, but I think that's true for anything. I, I don't know if, I, if that's just necessarily music. I mean, I'm sure there are people who, you know, I, I have a I have a nine to five uh, day job, office job, and it drives me crazy when there are people in the office who I know are just not doing any work. But you know, we're competing for the same promotions and da da da, and it gets it gets you know it can be frustrating if you feel yeah. like people are kind of in your way in a sense. It's true. You know. It's very true. Your team is, is really important, the people that you work with and who you have around you. And it works the same for music, for sure. especially it's a creative field, so everything can get in the way of that, you know? For sure. It's oh, yeah, and egos and, you know, creative differences and so on and so forth. But I think you, that's, you nailed it, uh, Jacqueline. You really did. You need to have a team, and that's and that's the word. You know, no one can do this alone. I've been trying to do it mostly on my own for a long time, and it can be difficult because – you know, when you surround yourself with people who are who are like-minded, who share your your work ethic, who um, 
you know, you, you just you get together and you really get things done. I yeah. mean, that, that there is strength in numbers for sure, undeniably. Oh, that's great. It's really true. Well, I enjoyed you being on the show. Thank you so much for bringing your song to AVA. And you've got a whole oh, thank team you for playing it. with you now. <laughs> You're welcome. We'll be playing it again. I can guarantee that. <laughs> Oh, thank you. That means so much to me. No, I, I had a blast. That's crazy. I mean, 20 minutes just flew by. Um, yeah, but, yeah. yeah, it was it was great talking with you. Um, really appreciate the opportunity to, to be on and be heard. I'll definitely be supporting the AVA uh, network. So, uh, you know, we'll definitely be keeping in touch. Wonderful, wonderful. That was Fly M Academic, everyone, calling in from Philadelphia with his song, Keep Dreaming. So excited to have him on the show and being a part of our AVA Live Radio Network. Next up, I've 